Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Sheeny. Hi, Phoenix Wright. Sorry we left you for a while. <laughs> I was real mad at you, but now I'm drunk, so I'm not as mad at you right now, so it's okay. Also, Just I'm mad at everybody that hates Phoenix, because he's a good boy. Exactly. That's the only thing he's I'm mad about. He's a very good boy. That's the only thing I'm mad about. I have a lot of love. For I'm very protective. Nobody likes this good boy. Over this my Feeny, okay? Feeny's a good boy. This whole country is prejudiced against good boys. <laughs> uh, seemingly. Apparently. Yeah. Oh, here, we keep forgetting. I'm moving! Here. Get comfy. Oh, yeah, well, hold on. Let me scooch, scooch over. Let mm. me scooch. Oh, get all up in my grill. I, do I like it. it. I, uh, uh. I like it. I love it. I gotta have it. Like it, love it, gotta have it. Yep. Yeah, take oh. that. Well, maybe you should wrap it in something. Shit. It's yeah, not that cool. Alright, well, fair enough. Little by little. Very right, right, let's fucking go! What do I do now? I can't believe Maya and I were actually found guilty. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be double guilty! Somehow they let us walk free even though we're guilty! Remember, this, this trial need not be drawn out any longer. The defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution. In accordance with the law, I invoke the Defense Culpability Act against the defense. Now, kill it. This court finds the accused my fee and the defense Phoenix right totally guilty. Yes, is it good to have ever? We're in the past. Ah! Remember, these are good memories. Memories are important. M Mr. Wright! I'll be. I saw the whole trial. What's gonna happen to Miss Maya now? Fuck if I know, kid. I mean, don't you- you live here. You know the law. We're dead. <laughs> dead man walking. I guess. They let us go, though, so there's really nothing stopping us from, like, running. Yeah. We could just run. Maya can't. <gasps> but we could. She needs that emote. Oh, that emote is great. That's fucking- That emote is wonderful. Who- whose <laughs> channel is that? Who is Gromi? I don't know- I'm not familiar with that, uh, prefix. That Gromi's great, though. It's really good. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm worried about that too. For right now. Bright lights, big city, that's where we gotta be. Who is this guy? Uh, I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor Sadmahi. Yes. This dagger. It bears the fingerprints of Maya Faye on it. And it's got a sick pop. Look at the handle on that thing. It Isn't looks that dark. No. Oh, Sheeny. Oh, Sheeny. Thank you, baby. Thanks for that, that resub. Who's having the baby? Is our bot on twice? I think our bot is on twice. Double the bot. Double bot. Double well, the bot, double, double the, the fun. I was gonna say double the power. <laughs> That's just the kind of mood that I'm in. Double your pleasure, double your fun. Right now I need to focus on the next trial. Yeah, never mind the double bot. Or double mint twins. Or, yeah. Remember that commercial? The double mint twins. Double your pleasure, double your fun. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> never mind that shit. The. The murder of Acolyte, uh, Zella, right? Yeah. Wait. Acolyte Zealot? Uh, at least the jury is still out on that one. So to speak. The two murders are most likely connected. I can get to the bottom of the Acolyte Zealot's murder. It might give me the ammunition I need to overturn. Let me help you investigate. I want to assist you in any way I can. I appreciate it, Albie. We're talking about murder. 
Yeah, but it's going to be kind of hard for a foreigner to investigate this on his own. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you are 100% correct. This place clearly hates me. <laughs> I, you've got an adorable dog with you. Maybe good idea. Yeah. Wish I knew what to do. Uh, beg Albie to come. Uh oh. I don't care. Somebody's having doubts. I literally could care less about your self doubt. That means that you could care. That means you do care. God damn it. You fucked with my English! <laughs> uh, this is your fault too. Uh, isn't that your benevolence? Princess Rafer? Hello? <laughs> oh, it's you again. Dead lawyer walking, guilty of abetting a murder under the defense culpability. Yeah, does that make you feel good? <laughs> I see she hasn't lost any of her charm. Feels good, doesn't it? By the long face. You'd be glad I was found guilty under the DC Act. <laughs> I am no mood to take joy in your suffering. For I was unable to defeat you. I had to leave the job to others. Oh, was that it? Is that what it was? I failed in my sacred duty as the royal priestess. I guess that answers my question. Let's revisit it in this flashback. Misunderstood the voice of the Matama yet again? This, this cannot be! Oh, so what? She's thinking too much. She didn't even actually faint, though. She got right back up a second later, I think. All I did was defend my client. I totally love seeing her looking so sad like this. I'm like relishing in it. Yes. <laughs> Your benevolence. In heavy sarcasm quotes. Can you feel those? <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> huh? Oh, barbed head. I thought you had already begun your journey to the Twilight Realm. Me too. I'm not dead yet! I'm not dead yet. And even if I was, you'd never hear it from me. And you listen here. I still have an investigation to do for tomorrow's trial. If anybody, anybody in the fucking world got where that quote was from, 10 points to fucking Gryffindor. <laughs> what if you're not in Gryffindor? 10 points to Gryffindor! <laughs> Man, fuck Gryffindor. <laughs> no, actually, can I take that back? I take it back. No points to Gryffindor. 10 points to Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw's the best house. All right, well, that's more acceptable. Still not me, though. 10 out of 10, Ravenclaw's my favorite house. I'm not a Ravenclaw. I wish I was. Actually, I think I did get it in the sorting. It was between that and Hufflepuff. I got Hufflepuff. Actually, that makes sense. I got Hufflepuff, but I totally love Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw's my favorite. My favorite house is Hufflepuff, but I think I got Ravenclaw. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, it's Care Level Zero that has the Garomi. Okay, it's incredible. They need to know it's incredible. I'm gonna need to find them and tell them how incredible it is. What's this? Do you mean to say... You haven't given up yet? What do you... What? No! <laughs> Fucking duh! Let <laughs> me roll over and die? <laughs> Come on, ma'am. I'm going to prove Maya innocent tomorrow. But why? Why do, we, why do you refuse to give up? I cannot fathom such obstinacy. Because she didn't do it. <laughs> Investigate all you want. I care not. You really don't mind? Aren't you worried that a lawyer backed into a corner by the DC Act might do something desperate like forge evidence? Phoenix, you're not... Come, Phoenix. Mm, 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 mm. What's this? 
Left unsupervised, I'd be free to do whatever I wanted, you know. Phoenix, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, now to see if she takes the bait. Yes, I see your point. Barb Ted. Yes. I know what happened yesterday. Oh, do you? You perpetrated some sort of fraud or other misdeed while I was not watching. You were always watching. Also, this is kind of admitting that you did a bad job, just so you know. Your logic is flawed. Oh shit, it's Sicy and Daniel. What's up? Hey guys. How you doing? Hey babes. Also, that new Toucan emote. I, I love, love it, it so much. It's so good. <laughs> I saw him TV earlier today. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. I love you, Danny. I love you. I'm gonna body your sad. New also, Star Bomb is real good. Yeah, the new Star Bomb album came out today, and I listened to it like three times at work, and it is lit. It's got so much variety. I got whiplash listening to it, but like in a good way. Yeah. Also, please don't mind our bot. It's going double. Sorry. But yeah. What, what did you say your favorite was on the album? Do you have a favorite song right now? Uh, well, right now my favorite is uh, actually the Overwatch. The blowing the payload? Blowing the payload. Just because, I, guys, I love Beastie Boys. Like, I really love Beastie Boys. And that Hell song yeah. is so fucking Beastie Boys. I know nothing about Overwatch. I have never touched Overwatch. I know enough about Overwatch to, like, get the jokes and stuff. It's like, I just, I just love the sound of that song. <laughs> I have no choice. A boy in his boat is holding, actually holding me hostage in my, in my brain, in my ear. I can't get it out of my head, so as of right now, it's my favorite. Mario Party. But Mario Party. Is really good. I also like Aaron Checks the Mic. Yeah, we were talking about that one. I think it's the, the uh, Welcome to Mario Party, A Boy in His Boat. Uh, and I really liked the, uh, the Tetris one, the filling in the name of. That one was pretty great. Oh yeah, that one was metal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's lit. It, they're all, they're all, it's mostly good. Like, it's, they're pretty much all bangers. Yeah, Aaron rapping like Snoop is just, is so good. Aaron rapping like Snoop is really There's one song you don't like? Tell me which one this is. Uh, it's probably the same one that, uh, I don't like, but it still is catchy enough. Yep, this is a Donkey Kong Jr. one. I laughed really hard, and then I was like, I'll never listen to that again. It was really funny, but it's not one I'll listen to a bunch. But then I had no choice because it creeps into your ear like a little, like a little sneaky earworm. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> That's when I was like, that one had a, a specific point, and I got it, and it was funny. I was like, eh. That's how I felt about the Donkey Kong one. It wasn't... I didn't think it was bad. The Dark Souls one it is, a is a banger. I didn't like it when I first listened to it, and then the second time I was like, actually, now that I'm listening... Because I don't... I don't I'm, not, I'm not into Dark Souls. Oh, I love fucking the Dark Souls one. Um, but then like, the second time that I listened to it, I was like, you know what? Actually, this is dope. It's a really good song. Um, but yeah, no, I had, I think I had one or two songs that I was like, eh, this is okay. Yeah, yeah, the backing of the Dark Souls one is just, it's like, because that was what it was, I was trying to listen to what the song was about the first time, and it was the opener of the album, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I, I don't like, really care about Dark Souls much, and I don't know if I dig this. And the second time I listened to it, I was paying more attention to the actual like backing and, and the flow and everything. I was like, actually, this is this this is a bop. I'll, I'm kind of into this now. But yeah, it's great. Pikachu does shred. Oh yeah, that one was great too. There's so many good ones. I'm kind of. Please. 
please don't hate me for saying this because I love the series. But I'm kind of eh about simple plot of Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah. Well, especially after the Metal Gear one. That one, Metal Gear one is was so good. so good to me. Because I was mad about the Final Fantasy one as well, so it was like... Really? You didn't like Final Fantasy? Uh, I, I did at first, and then it, as time has gone on, it's one that I don't listen to as much. I, I, I love simple plot of Final Fantasy and simple plot of Metal Gear, but simple plot of Kingdom Hearts was... It wasn't bad. It was just yeah, kind of just eh. okay. It was just eh. It wasn't bad. But yeah, it, it, there's just so many good ones. Go listen to it. Go listen to it. If you haven't it. yet, it's great. There's so much uh, good shit going on. And there's so much variety going on. Like, yes. it's all over the map on genre and, like, just go! Just listen to it! <laughs> if you can listen to it on Spotify or Google Play. Yeah. I listen to it on Google Play because Spotify mobile is awful. Yes, it is. <laughs> I kind of had to do the same thing. <laughs> I, I first I was like, I'll just listen to it on Spotify. And then I remembered that I hate Spotify. Like, I... I love Spotify on desktop. Uh, I, well, I don't think I've ever messed with it on desktop much. But I just don't care for... I want to. I don't like to like shuffle things or whatever because it'll just put up whatever suggested music and then it yeah. only lets you skip a certain amount of songs a day and I fucking hate that shit. Yeah. I get. I have Spotify on my phone specifically for for one thing and one thing only and that's Death in the Afternoon because I love that podcast and I I just listen to that. But whenever I try to listen to an album, I'm like, this is real frustrating. Now I remember why I don't use this service. See, Thanks a lot, Spotify. Spotify on desktop is much much better, but Spotify on mobile is. Awful. Yeah. So yeah, I do not recommend Spotify on mobile, but I do recommend it if you're using it on your laptop or desktop. I got time for that shit. Anyway, fucking go listen to Triforce. Read your line, bitch. Da da da. da explains everything. Why, uh, this, uh, the voice of the high priest is so. Yes, of course, it's the only explanation. Fucking... He's trying to cheer her up. No, she thinks less of me. I don't give a shit. Yeah, whatever. I must not allow you to sully our sacred hall of justice with your misdeeds ever again. Therefore, today, I will be monitoring your every move once more. I will not fail this mark to... I will not fail to spot your misdeeds this time. The moment I see anything out of the ordinary, I will send you straight to prison. I thought she was gonna say hell. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> and you, boy, do not throw your lot in with this foreign devil. It's too late for that. But your benevolence. It's okay, all of you. You don't need to worry about me. I'll be back before you know. But I wanted to go with you. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. First, I should probably lighten it a little bit. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Elby, would you mind holding on to some evidence for me? Of course not. I'm always glad to help. Just throw it in Albie's bag. It's like, your stuff in here from like five years ago. It'll probably get lost. You'll never see it again. Look at that little tongue. Oh, I love this. Thing. May the Holy Mother's blessings be upon you. See, he was only a little shit for a little bit. And, like, <laughs> wasn't even that shitty. Like, he was just a little shit. A little bit of a shit. I can forgive him. Rafa? No. I am going to love to watch her suffer. Yeah. I, I know it. I can, I can see it in your eyes. You're like, this bitch ain't real. The hatred is gonna be unforgiving. Like, just merciless. She's not a real person. I can do whatever I want. Exactly. <laughs> My unrelenting hatred towards this bitch. Uh, now then. The scene of the crime is the logical place to start. Mm -hmm. If I recall correctly, the body was found at the Plaza of Devotion? Let's go. So, what you were saying, he's no Joffrey. Not by a long stretch, like... 
I don't actually know if any is, is anybody even Wraith is not comparable to Joffrey. Uh, she, I'll agree with you on that. Yeah, she she at least know like she at least has her heart in the right place. Yeah, she like clearly cares about her people. Yeah, Joffrey literally was like. Me, me, me. Peasants belong in the field, and I don't. They're not people. <laughs> yeah, no. I like Joffrey. As much as I dislike Rafa, I will 100% concede to the fact that she's nowhere near the level of Joffrey. <laughs> she's. But also, the actor of Joffrey is a sweet bean. Please, yes, leave, please leave, leave that, him alone. Yeah, leave that boy alone, please. <laughs> Again, he, he was a really good actor, and he did a really good job. The poor guy. Poor kid, man. Oh, someone left a bunch of flowers. That's nice. That's an odd position for a body to be in. I like it. Yeah, me too. It looks like they were meditating. They were like, well, it looks like, um, do you guys know what the yoga position, the frog, is? Yeah, I do, actually. It looks like a frog. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Can't do it like for any long period of time, but... It does. It looks like frog. Hell yeah. Frog pose. Um, looks like the police already finished their investigation. Oh, I see. They're in, like, a prayer position. That's what uh, it looks like that. Well, yeah. See, I was imagining the legs being out further. I was, too. Yeah. To think someone would be killed here. A place of devoted to prayer. Wait, 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 but I just realized, no wonder Phoenix passed out. I, I didn't even realize when they were kneeling, at, like, pr in prayer before that their ankles were crossed. Mm-hmm. That's a super easy way to, like, fuck with your circulation. You're wait, their ankles to... were crossed? Yes, they're, they're, like, on their knees, and they they were, like, bent all the way forward, and their ankles were crossed. Oh, I didn't notice the ankles crossed. That's super part. bad for, and I, they sit there for two days like that. <laughs> I just thought that their ankles were turned out. Nope, they were mega crossed. Anyway, a body outline and flowers. Did someone leave them here in memory of the deceased? There's something different about the prayer flags today. Oh, there's one extra one. As the High Priestess's disciple, Acolyte Zealot, was utterly devoted to his training. First the High Priest, and now his devoted disciple. Maya Fey will pay for this. How could she have killed- she was- she's been detained this whole time. Yo, Quadra, what's up? I saw that Sheeny about the, uh, Jar Jar being Sactor got a standing ovation recently, and my heart melted. That's so good. Cause uh, he's gone through a lot of shit. Oh, my heart. Sorry, I, I just realized I was stuck on the. I was like thinking about uh, what the hell was his name again? Jar Jar Binks' actor. I don't know. It's Rose. on the tip of my tongue. The actor who played Rose? Rose? I Rose don't know. from... Isn't that a... Isn't that a, uh... Doctor Who character? Oh, uh, well, yes. Rose is a Doctor Who character. Uh, her actress is, was, uh, like a beloved pop singer before Doctor Who, though. Like okay. Billy, Billy... Billy Piper? Piper, yeah. So, I don't think it's the same Rose. Okay. I think Rose is a character in Star Wars that I don't know because I don't know Star Wars. Because I was like, I <laughs> thought I was the only person who disliked Rose. Right? Everybody loved Rose in Doctor Who. I didn't like Rose either. I was like... I think Rose Pitt played a great part in introducing you to the world of Doctor Who after it was off the air for so long. Yeah. Uh, but mean, beyond not... that, I did not care. She was... She's... She was. She served the purpose of being like, this is what it's the. You're, this is what a companion you're the is. The wild-eyed uh, companion that needs everything explained to them. Yes, I do remember there was another. There was a, a a woman that um played a character in one of the newer Star Wars movies that was harassed so badly that she deleted all of her social media. I remember that being a big thing. Oh, that was the, the Asian lady. 
Oh, right, right. She was Asian. Not... I didn't know what her character's name was, but I remember that controversy. And by controversy, I mean everyone harassed her for a character that she played in a movie. Yeah, shit band people. Yeah. But good for them for, like, getting, you know, like, the recognition after all this time. Especially Jar Jar, because, like, Phantom Menace was so many years ago, and people have, like, super hated on Jar Jar ever since then. Oh, shit, hey, Toucans! Hey, Toucan, baby! Thanks for that host, what's going on, baby? Hell yeah. Sid tells me you PB'd earlier, congrats. Look at that. Look at that smug face. Yeah, your new emote is real dope. I love it so smile. much. I love that emote so much. But yeah, uh, I'm just, I, it melted my heart to see them, you know, like, actually get recognition. Oh, um, no, Quattro! Baby! Is it still fucking raining out there? Yeah, it's it doesn't raining. sound like it. It's not, like, super hard right now, but mm. I don't... It's it's still raining and it's like really groggy and gross, but yeah no that emote is fucking dope. It's so good. Uh, wait, I was gonna say that you don't like Do Rose from Doctor Who because hell yeah, Sheeny. Yeah no, everyone knows who the best companion in Doctor Who was. I mean let's be honest. I mean it's Donna. Yeah, it's hands down Donna. It's, it's always Donna. Donna. Donna all the time. Donna Noble. Fuck yeah, Sheeny knows what's up. <laughs> That's what. I loved your cute picture. I didn't know if, did, did, if you want, did, what, am I allowed to show it? What? To the picture. stream or to, just to me? <laughs> to you. <laughs> okay. To you. I was like, what? <laughs> but, uh, shit. Okay. 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 Read your line while you show me. As I keep trying to tell you, Maya has nothing to do with any of this. And you can prove this. How? Because she's a good bean. Because you you're have to know. A fucking. Also, you can argue with logic this time, though. She's been detained all this time, and someone new is murdered. How does somebody who's been in the in detention this whole time? Oh, I did see this picture, and it's oh, super you did? cute. Isn't and it yeah, cute? it's real cute. Real cute. But I still don't understand how the game is trying to explain... Like, are they trying to infer that this guy was murdered before Maya was detained? Because she's been in detention this whole time. Incapable of being outside and murdering anyone. I don't know what they're... I don't about. either. I don't know. What do you think I'm doing here? Gathering dirt and dust for the trial? You and your smart mouth. This is precisely why you and your lawyerly ilk are so revealed. Reveled. Reviled. Reviled. Hey, Mr. Wright. I think I know who this is. It's my girl. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, it's like a breath With of the fresh, fresh air. air. And it smells a little bit like thing, like like uh, luminol fluid, but it's so refreshing. Breath of fresh air. You might say it's like a clear sky. <laughs> I'm done streaming forever. <laughs> Bye. It was nice knowing you, Twitch. It's my wife. She is. She's. She's worth it. Yo. She's not my Ace Attorney wife, but I. I do love her. She's one of my many wives. I have more than one. <laughs> well, yours are uh, Emma Sky and Athena, though, right? Yeah, Athena's and to like Maya's my spirit animal and also my wife, but like and Mia, Mia and Maya both. But they're like, they're not, I, Athena's the true top wife. It just, I love all the babes so much. I is can't... Athena the true top wife or is she tied with Emma? I thought they were tied. Shit, dude, I don't know. It's, it's not Emma it and Athena. It depends, it's really hard. Okay. <laughs> don't make me choose. Okay. Well, that's why I said I thought they were tied. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Athe I mean, at least Athena and Emma I thought were tied. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Because obviously everyone knows my fucking ace attorney wife is Mia. I mean, Mia's great. Um, but I also am a huge fan of Maya. I really love Maya. I just I have such attachment to Maya. She's I, such yeah. a good being. No, Maya's wonderful. Also, Francesca? Oh yeah, I love Franny. Anyway, everyone in this fucking game is just great. Uh, 
It's that detective from your country again. Uh, it's the princess. Uh, hi! <laughs> you seem displeased that I am here. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> no, don't be silly. Uh, Mr. Wright? Um, I'm so sorry about what happened to Maya. It's not your fault, Emma. You're just doing your job. And if I had just done mine... Mr. Wright. Come on. But it's no use crying over spilled milk. You, this, this entire core system is very clearly biased against you, so... Also, spilled milk is really not the... This is kind of a really big deal. Would you mind telling me what you know about the murder? <laughs> it's a do or die in court tomorrow. And I mean that literally. <laughs> Gladly. I'll help in any way I can. Look at that smile. Remember, I have my eyes on the both of you. So see to it that you commit no misdeeds. Of course not. You're talking to a professional here. You do believe in science, right? Like, you're not gonna fuck with- you're not gonna be like, Oh, it's witchcraft, and it's not permissible in court. You're like, actually gonna let me do science, right? Kyle, I love you! Kyle! I love you! Kyle, I love you too. You can. Let's examine some stuff. Or no, we should, maybe we should talk to Emma first, so we don't forget. Oh, now it's really raining. Yeah. Hello, rain. Be safe, Quattro. Please, Quattro, be safe. Where is he? Is he at work? Like He was at work. He just got off. He said he's been on the walk. But he's just down the road. Yeah. It's like, it's not that far away from here. But it's is Jeremy back? Right. But I'm just saying, like, if it's real bad, isn't Jeremy already, like, out? Could he just pick him up on the way back? I want to hug you too, Kyle! And I'll make you ramen. Hell yeah. I... Oh, you're stuck in your truck? I was wondering about that, what happened to your truck. If some, like, it wasn't running or what. Yeah, it's a lot of rain. I'm so sorry. I can Maybe. hear it now. Uh... Let's see. How about starting with an overview of what happened? Let me see. Sorry, I just realized the name of this. <laughs> the victim is praise a lot. Do you get it? You thought my sky jump was bad. His name is praise a lot. He prays a lot. Yes. You're thinking of um, what's the name of the high priest? Oh shit, something is a lot. Uh. No, it was a uh, 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 trust in me, because his wife is believe in me. Because we kept calling him thrust in me instead of trust. <gasps> trust in me. He was the high priest's disciple. Ugh, mama. His body was discovered around noon today, right after the rite wrapped up. So, what? during the high priest's murder trial, that Maya was next to me, and everyone in court saw the whole time. That's right. Apparently, he'd been here praying since the day before the rite even started. Talk about serious devotion. Yeah, I barely lasted a few minutes. This is a picture of Mr. Zealot's body. Oof. That looks like a peach on his neck. He must like a booty. Right? Did you <laughs> say he's an ass man? <laughs> uh, that dagger in his upper back looks like it would have been particularly painful. Is that a tattoo on the back of his neck? It's booty shaped. It's ass shaped. Dr. Yeah. Fat Body, what's hey. up, baby? What's up, Fat Body? How's it going? Everyone started leaving when the praying was finally done, but the victim remained bent over in prayer. And 
And when they went over to check on him, they noticed the giant knife sticking out of him. Go figure. They noticed he was dead as fuck. Like, how do you not notice that? <laughs> I still want to know when that fucking little cell phone charm is going to come in handy. Oh, the, the, not the Steel Samurai, but the... The, the knockoff still samurai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The plumed punisher. The fucking magical girl knockoff still samurai. Yeah, I'm kind of curious too. Maybe this guy that's dead now was the one that was way into the steel samurai. Maybe that was Maya's friend. Because he's a disciple of the high priest. So he would have to be around them a lot. So maybe it's him. Stay safe, Quattro. Stay safe, Quattro. Uh, I am doing drunk. Yeah, it's been a week. It's been a week. We're so moving, I'm... for people that don't know. S moving is stressful. I need another drink. Me too. <sighs> yes. More screwdriver. Yes. yes. The estimated time of death is May 9th, sometime between the start of the rite and the discovery of the high priest's body. Okay. Oh, well, then never mind. Yeah. But, I mean, like, how good at killing people do you think Maya is if she was all the way up the mountain and killed somebody and came all the way back down here to kill somebody else? Like, what's going on? Yeah. In other words, we believe the crimes took place during the purification rite. But, but how? Okay. And the murder weapon was the same ceremonial dagger that killed the high priest. This is just getting weird. Uh, unfortunately, no, not closer to Colorado. I wish. You're the second person to ask that, actually. <laughs> You're like, come to Colorado. And it's like, no, no, we're just moving locally to yeah. save money. Yeah, we're combining our two houses into one house. Yeah. We've been living across, we've been living next door to each other for all this time. Yeah, for four years. And anybody who's visited us, but we've lived, yeah, we've had basically two houses this yeah. whole time. We don't, need two we don't need two houses, and we need to save up money so that we can actually get out of the state, because I really hate living in North Carolina. Me too! I've lived here my whole life. It's anyway. Sucks ass. Anyway, the prosecution believes Maya came down the stairs after killing the high priest, and then stabbed Mr. Zalot with the same dagger, while everyone was around him praying, and nobody noticed. Shut the fuck up, Phoenix. Circumstantial evidence does point to Maya. What about the cause of death? He apparently died instantly from the dagger that was left thrust into his upper back. I mean, that is a pretty vital point. Here's the autopsy report. Have a good sleep, Danny. I love you. Bye, Danny. I love you. Have a super cool slept. Closer to Colorado would naturally be closer to Texas. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But the end-all, be-all goal is California. Yeah. Which everyone should go to. Estimated time of death, you say? How can you know such a thing? Oh shit, here we go. It's time for the science versus religion showdown. Put up ya dukes! I want to know. Well, barbed head, out with it. Oh, so the princess of the spirit medium kingdom is interested in forensic science? Hm. I have no interest in science, forensics, or otherwise. Nevertheless, I will someday be queen. As such, it would be wise to know what silly things the common folk believe in. Ooh. There's nothing silly about it. Emma, it's I fact. give you complete permission to break her neck. <laughs> I'll have you know. Even Prosecutor Saad Mahi holds forensics in high regard. Does he? Perhaps I should not underestimate the power of science. Still, I suppose it's nothing much compared to the divination, the divination, div, 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 seance. Whatever, whatever those words were that you just said. She really doesn't have an adorable bone in her body. No, she's literally the worst. Emma. Phoenix kind of understands what's going on here, though. Phoenix has your Sundari ass clocked, right? Yes. <laughs> Clocked to a T, bitch. Oh, nice. That was good. <laughs> uh, Emma, I think she's actually interested. Would you mind explaining it to her? Since, you know, you're the science 
I am. I'm the science guy now. I guess I have to. Okay, so there are many ways to estimate the time of death. But the most well-known method uses the change in body temperature. Interesting. Body temperature drops at a steady rate from the moment a person dies. And that means we can tell how long someone's been dead by measuring their temperature. Hmm, I see, I see. It is quite enlightening. Barb's head, present your forehead now. Wh why? Well, you're not close to dead yet. Hmm. You feel just a little over 95 degrees. Huh. It seems you are not dead yet. <laughs> of course I'm not! <laughs> it was but a jest. After all, you're still a dead lawyer walking. Hmm. I fail to see the humor in any of this. Me too, fans. Were there any witnesses? With so many people here at the plaza, you'd think somebody would have seen something. You'd think so, wouldn't you? There are people everywhere, but we haven't found a single witness. How's that even possible? Because everyone has been over utterly devoted to prayer, naturally. But they didn't hear anything? Like, like a death rattle or like a shink? You know, nothing? Not the body defecating itself? Mm, yeah, you would think they would smell it, actually. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, the back shattering pose that nearly killed me. Still, you'd think someone would have noticed something. Like the defecation. I thought so too, but I guess. Uh, mm, maybe that's going a little too far. Never mind. <laughs> With the monk's scarf he had on, no one could see the dagger in his upper back. Plus, everyone was so absorbed in prayer, they didn't see or hear anything. That's close enough to where I was going. I can't believe this. Me neither. What you choose to believe is your choice, but the fact remains there were no witnesses. Oh, save this line for later, because I could throw this back in your face. Wait, 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 everybody remember this line. However, there is one piece of irrefutable evidence. The dagger. Whoa! That's a sick dagger. It is a sick dagger. Well, yeah. Sadly, yes. Ugh. It is sick, though, right? Mm. It is a pretty cool dagger. Mm. And just be- Fucking- Yeah, Maya touched the dagger because she was fucking supposed to be Lady Kira. D other- Look for other fingerprints! <laughs> it's like- Logic doesn't even ever occur to these people. It's like, nobody could have been wearing gloves. No way. You know what, Maya gets, Maya gets framed for murder so many times, I'm going to buy that girl a pair of opera gloves and she's gonna have to wear them all the time now. I don't wanna see her fingerprints on any damn thing ever again. <laughs> but then they're just gonna call her to the stand and be like, she's the only one wearing gloves. I don't care. You can't prove it. You can't prove that she touched it at all because there's no fingerprint. Get out of my house. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good night. Good luck. Could you tell me about the murder weapon? The killer used the Warbad Dagger, the legendary weapon of Lady Kira. It was discovered impaled in the victim's upper back. But... The accused's fingers print. Fingers prints. Fingers prints. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break you. Hi, Greenie. <laughs> that hit me in fucking waves. <laughs> on, I'm stealing your eyes back. Oh no, it's not cold anymore. It's no. not. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Animaniacs, please. <laughs> the show is so good. It is. The accused. <laughs> were found on the dagger, were they not? Yes, they were. But, I mean, that doesn't mean she was the only one that 
touch it! With such irrefutable evidence, there's no question in the accused's guilt. I'm pretty sure there is! Not so fast! What about motive? I had no reason to kill Acolyte Villain, or anyone for that matter. What did the police think about this matter? Did you want to, A, put the ice pack in the freezer, B, get drinks? Yes. Because I can hold down the fort. You want to hold down the fort? Yeah, and tell you what uh, I discovered. Okay. Okay, in the meantime. well, give me a second to undo the, 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 the web that is my legs. Yes, we're uh, very tangled up right now. In well, each also, other. I just have way too much leg. I'm like 75% leg. That's accurate, yeah. <laughs> 75% is pretty accurate. I am a lot. A lot of leg. You're a long boy. I am a long boy. Okay. Okay, children. Let's learn about this motive, shall we? Catch sit up when Sid gets back. This will be on the test, and it will be worth 40% uh, of your grade. Okay, motive. Maya had no reason to kill Acolyte Zelot. Oh shit, now I have to beat this bitch. So you say, but let, let us now hear what the police think about the matter. The police believe Maya is the Lady Kira figure who's been battling the rebels. And since Mr. Zelot was the s disciple of the high priest who turned out to be a rebel, he too was likely a rebel and therefore met the same untimely demise as his teacher. Yeah, that's how the police currently view this crime. There's no way Maya's that Lady Kira vigilante. Have you seen Maya? <laughs> and I agree on a personal level, but the police are just going with what today's trial concluded. Nigger. I really blew it in court today. No, oh, Phoenix. Up. Well, time to examine the things. I know it wants us to do the body first, but I really want to know what is going on with this extra prayer flag. It's just in my face. This prayer flag looks much newer than the rest. Um, your benevolence? What does it say here? The dearest wishes of our subjects are written upon these prayer flags. Reading the prayers of others is considered rude, but if you must know. Wow. It says, at the usual spot, bring grub, the key to. Huh. That is one of the more direct and practical prayers I have ever seen. I wonder if it's even a prayer. Though, I guess if I were to pray for something, if I were to pray, like, I would definitely be like, bring food. So, I can relate to that, yeah. Be like, yo, God, I'm hanging out in the regular spot, please bring me some Doritos. And my keys. Thanks. Deuces. Uh, Try to save the body for when Sid comes back. Hell yeah. Yo! 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 Alright, so let me just fucking fill you in. Fucking fill In case me it in wasn't, motion. like, I mean, you could probably guess, but I'll fill you in anyway. Yeah. So they're like, today. Here, let me scoot over. Today during the trial, right? They right. They're like, oh no, the high priest is a rebel, and Maya is apparently Lady Kira, who's around hunting rebels. So the police <laughs> are just kind of like, this guy, this guy that died in here was uh, the high priest's disciple, so he was probably a rebel too. So Maya just killed them both because she's Lady Kira, and everyone's like, "Yeah, that seems pretty logical. That seems cool. That seems cool." But the thing is, is that didn't everyone love this mysterious murderer, Lady Kira? Yes, they hate rebels and they love Lady Kira. So, but now they hate Lady Kira because it's Maya. Well. They, it, they're like it's murder, which is against the law. 
but like they were gonna execute the rebels if they caught them anyway so whatever it, whatever the point is is that's what the motive is i also checked that prayer flag and it was dope it <laughs> let me explain the she they it's like um is it that pink one yes it's like um those like little prayer that you like in japanese culture you write out your wishes on a paper and then you tie it to a thing yeah 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 it's like that so she opened it up and read the Rafa because we were like we want to know what this says because we can't read yeah. and she was like it's rude to open up and read people's prayers and i was like okay fair but the prayer was like at the usual spot bring grub and the keys too and i was like oh this is not a prayer but at the same time if i were praying to jesus i would be like yo jesus i'm in the normal spot praying like i do bring doritos and i can't find my car keys so if you could just give them here i don't have a car so if you just brought me some car keys i would appreciate it <laughs> didn't you see the fucking shit i put on snapchat the other day oh i don't know i, I don't i must have because i didn't get any Unless it was just something you put on your story. Then it maybe. was something I put on my story. Okay, maybe I didn't. Yeah, it was fucking not used to you having a separate Snapchat still. <laughs> Me just being like... <laughs> I know, I need to post on ours. But, uh... Yeah, our Snapchat, our collective Snapchat is literally just snaps of Link. <laughs> like, it's not even anything that I do. It's just, I love my cat a lot. <laughs> So if you want to follow us on Snapchat at Watashi Machine and see my big my big boy, my big Maine Coon boy. He is a big boy, but he's, he's a big precious boy. He's a big baby. Link is a gigantic baby. Okay, but no, for real though. On my fucking Snapchat the other day, I was like... <laughs> I was like, you know what? I think if you became like real cool biffles with Jesus, he would tell you that his dad is kind of a dick. <laughs> he would probably. <laughs> He'd be like, you know what? It's like my dad's probably not. You know, I don't really talk to him now that I'm old. Like I've I've grown up and I have independence and I pay my own bills now. <laughs> yeah. I don't really talk to my dad anymore. Anyways, so these flowers were left here in memory of Acolyte Zealot. What are they called? They are known as... Namanda? Namanda. They are given to express sorrow when a life is lost. Namanda, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems offering flowers in memory of the dead is a universal practice. Yeah. Should have brought lilies. Say the flower of death. Yeah. White lilies. Yeah, that prayer flag literally said bring grub. And I just like, I loved it. I was like, this is a mood. I want grub. Me too. I feel like Zealot died bent over in prayer. There's no trace of blood on the ground, though. The fact that there's so little green could mean that it was a single stab to a vital point. I mean, the back of the neck, though, goes right into your fucking spinal cord. Like, I could see that super duper killing you really fast. I mean, whatever. Not that that would have been very difficult considering the position. Position. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess the carpet. A flight zealot was killed in a prayer place. I like that we're doing all this morbid shit, and Emma's theme is still playing in the background, and it's like. Bam, 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 bam. Saw must have been his That's a good thought, Phoenix. Even for Phoenix, right? But... It's a prayer rug woven by devout monks. May the Holy Mother's blessing be upon his departed son. It's strange that there's no blood stain. Kinda. You would think there'd at least be trace hmm. amounts. Perhaps it was so cold his blood froze. Or perhaps no. it was absorbed by his vestment. Equally, no. Phoenix. Phoenix. 
We're not gonna read this. No, read it, read it. Just read it and we'll read it later. It is pretty cold. Maybe the blood really did just freeze inside his body. No, Phoenix. No, Phoenix, it did not. No. <laughs> if you if you if voiced that out loud, Emma would have been like, Phoenix, please. That message on the player. Player. Hey, Garbage Chan. Oh, sorry, our bot is like double right now. Double Bias. the pleasure. Double the fun. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing double. I just haven't gone out of my way to fix it. Uh, that message on the prayer flag seems a little weird, but I think I've seen everything there is to see around here. Yeah, there wasn't much. You have not found nor heard anything of particular worth. Are you ready to give up? I want to spray luminol spray up here. Emma, did you bring your luminol spray? I thought you were going to say something else. I don't know what Whoa. I thought you were going to say. <laughs> I want to spray this place. This is my territory. <laughs> Just pss, pss. <laughs> This place is mine now. No, I'm not calling it quits yet. D Does it look like you've any hope of winning, Mr. Wright? Emma. I can't really say at this point. All I know is I have to keep investigating. Man, I wish that I could be at your side for this. I can't because of conflict of interest, but having a scientific investigator on your side would just be the most useful thing in the world right now. Mm -hmm. What are you two sneaks up to? I would advise you to get back to work if you've done here, detective. Otherwise, I will report you to Prosecutor Sadmahi for direct... D d dereliction? Der d d d is that what the word is? Dereliction? Dereliction. I think it's dereliction. Of duty. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going! I'm going! Jeez! Well, see you later, Mr. Wright. And good luck. Really good luck. Don't leave me here with this bee! I should really pay a visit to everyone and every place connected with this case. Okay. I got bad feelings about the wife still. Also, we should see Maya too, if we're able to see Maya. So. Do you want to save these real fast? Don't yes. We, all that? we should definitely. Good thinking. Hey. Justin. Okay. Sometimes my brain does a thing. Oh no, you left the server. Okay, well, it's okay. We will get you back. You didn't have to use the Discord command, you used it once. We all, the only reason we have a Discord command in the first place is to keep out trolls. If you've been in there before, you don't have to use it to get back in. Like, we we know you cool. We can get you back in. I don't have my phone with me right now, so I can't send it. But um, I can have Jeremy. Uh, Garbage Chan. The Twitch handle's that Garbage Can out back. It's our sweet Garbage Chan. Our sweet Garbage Chan. Let's move to the detention center first, and then I want to visit the priest's wife. Nope, no Maya. Let's go. High priest's house. Yep, this is this seems right. Who is her? Me, you or me? Uh, I actually don't remember. I want to say you, but. I can't be 100% certain. Fuck, it's been way too long. She was the one with the picture, right? Yeah. Yes, I was definitely him. Oh, Garbage Chan, check your whispers. Uh. Our dear beloved Nems. Yeah, we got you. Has gotten you. Uh. Oh, it's you. I don't remember what your voice was or who voiced you, but we're doing it. Barbed head. You are not contemplating casting suspicion on Lady Believe, are you? I don't actually know. I might be. What if I was? She lost her beloved husband, and now acolyte zealot, who was like a son to her. Was he? I'm really not sure. Of course I'm not. Mm. But since she was close to both victims, I wanted to hear what she has to say. Very well. And 
then there's the fact that Lady Kira didn't attack Mazemi. Probably means she isn't a rebel. Or she might be Lady Kira. Or she might be Lady Kira. Is this about poor Pere? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can talk about that right now. What about Maya? She's innocent. Maya? I heard she was found guilty. First my dear husband, and now pray. Miss Enmi, you don't really believe that Maya's the killer, do you? I... I don't know. But that was the verdict, so what else can I believe? What am I to do? The verdict was already reached in your husband's case. But the truth of the matter is yet to be found. How can you be so sure? Because I believe that Maya is innocent. You should too. That's all I have right now. My faith in her. So please, help me understand what happened. So you're... You're defending her based solely on faith. Even though you'll be punished for abetting the accused? Is that so hard to believe, considering the place that we're, this is taking place in? That's right. All right, then. Your faith has moved me. I will tell you what I can. Are you sure about this, Lady Believe? My lovely wife is also a devout follower of Curranism. As such, she is not one to make light of another's faith. But if I find you've lied about your faith in Maya Fey's innocence, I shall curse your entire family and all your disciples for the next eight generations. Hey, leave Athena and Apollo alone, buddy. Also, there's no questioning my faith in Maya. Unquestionable. 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 Was that a photo over there before, by the way? It caught my eye. It looks like Maya's in it. It does look like Maya's in it. Also, I don't know why, but this, like, second uh, cabinet by the TV, the one with the red splotch on it, it keeps... I know that it's paint, but it keeps catching my eye. It's so bright and blood-like. My Ace Attorney senses are like, ZOOM! <laughs> at a spiritual retreat in the mountains. He came across parade collapse on the ground. That's when he brought him here. You were always one to help those in need, weren't you, dear? That animation is so sweet. I know, that is very sweet. I hate to be suspicious of her, but I'm real suspicious of her. But that animation is so sweet. And he'd been living here ever since. About two years ago. That's around the same time Maya arrived in Corinne. Oh, that is way too much of a coincidence to be a coincidence. Yes, he was born in a poor village and had nowhere to call home. My husband felt pity for the boy, so he took him in as the, his disciple. But not only as his disciple, he was like a member of our family, too. I see. where Alkalite Zealot lived. There might be something I could learn about him lying around here. Oh, trust me, Phoenix. I've been looking to see if anything is different than the last time that we were here. Excellent! Excuse me, lady. There's already the... Did we look at the little arrows on the ground Because I... Well, I guess they're drum, but that one's broken. It sure is. Sure by. Hold on, I want to see this picture first. A photo of the high priest, his wife, Alkalite Zealot, and Maya. Hell yeah. Oh, look at Maya! Since Maya's in it. Hold on, wait. Pause this for a second. This cute moment. Let's look in the background a little and see if there's anything weird. There's a picture of three monk dudes <gasps> behind him. 
Ah, oh, she's the Seal Samurai fan. Check this fucking shit out. So they're friends. Or at least, you know, they're both nerds. That orb is still there. And I don't notice anything else weird, do you? Oh, hey, I just noticed that uh, trust in me's uh, head markings are the same as the tattoo on the back of Zealot's neck. They all? It's the butt. It's the peach shape. It's the butt peach. Anyways. That's all I got so far. It must have been taken the day before the right. I should ask Miss Inley about it. We should present the charm to her. If this doesn't bring it up. And be like, hey, are you a fucking nerd too? To think that this would be their finally family photo. That no good my Bay has some nerd. Excuse you? I mean, here she is posing with the two men whom she would soon kill. Excuse me! I beg to differ. I see this photo as proof that she didn't kill them. Hmm. That smile of hers does not fool me. I sense a deep and a bidding malice behind it. Well, you would be wrong. I'll prove Maya smiles the real deal. And you'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. Also, that photo of the three priests isn't there anymore. There's just this one. And that was just from the other day, so where did it, what happened? Where did it go? Can we have Maya? Oh, I already looked at Maya's bag. It won't let me look at it again. No. And we've already looked at these. Move my rails. Okay, I saw another one. Oh, I think that's still the wastebasket. Okay. All right. Well. Um, Ted, it appears you're you are quite fond of rummaging through the garbage. It's the Earthbound speedrunner in me, sorry. I just thought there might be some other important piece of evidence in here. Or a burger, at least. Who's that guy? Look, I'm not doing this for fun, really. You've never been dumpster diving before. You know what they say about one man's trash? It's another man's trash. But like, you know, more useful. That's the same, right? Yeah. Pictures of the queen and her husband, the justice minister of Korea. Yes, my mother and my father. Hmm. What do you think? Do they not possess an awe-inspiring air? They possess some kind of air. Uh, terrifying is more the word I would use. Mm. Well. <laughs> yes, they're very awe-inspiring. If you completely change the meaning of awe. Yeah. And inspiring. Mm. Really, I really actually dig the fabric draping from the ceiling up there. Oh, yeah. That's dope. I didn't really pay attention to that before. Yo, RBM! Stay hydrated, my guy. How are you doing? RBM? It's good to see you, dude. Hell yeah, I love it. Of course it's magnificent. It's for the Holy Mother, after all. <laughs> Holy Mother. Is she that faceless figure there? Such insolence. How do you not know who her holiness is on sight? Do you seek to cross over into the Twilight Realm right this instant? Maybe I do. S sorry, it won't happen again. Hmm. This is why lawyers are so despised. Now listen well. 
Depicting what holiness is faced is the greatest taboo in all of Puritanism. There are none alive today who know what will face Puritanism. I kind of like it. It's very, like, horror game. That she just has no face. And she's surrounded by people. And that includes the members of the royal family. Wow. Now there isn't an unusual custom. Not really. God, we one heck of a secret if even the royal family can't know what she looks like. It's almost like she wasn't the person that had a face in the first place. I don't know. Um... Now we'll get down to the real shit. Crumbs. And finally, the obvious thing over here. No, it won't let me look at it! Oh shit. Oh, Alright. I bet you that's gonna be important later though. You know it is. Yeah. Let's just like mentally log that away. I was about away. to say, I just feel like it's like, I mean, I'm not it's crazy, it's, right? No, you're not crazy. It's Phoenix Wright obvious. Like, look at that. It's one of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. Just remember. I still have never played these games. They're some of my favorites. As much as we've been frustrated with this particular case. Yes. Uh, I, the Ace Attorney series is like one of my favorite game series. Oh, for sure. I love Ace Attorney. Um, and I'm enjoying this one too. Uh, it's just this particular case has been yeah, a little bit. It Honestly, sucks it's when just... a game shits on you nonstop. So it's just kind of like, oof. I could put up with most of the like sliding if it wasn't for fucking if it wasn't for Rafa for Rafa yeah if Rafa was out of the picture I could handle the like slightly condescending and snarky remarks she's like your companion but like just completely talks shit at you the entire time it's like come on man uh I guess let's show her the photo first can I ask you about this photo look at this photograph It was taken during the Feast of Blessings, the day before the rite was held. The Forest of Blessings? No, the Feast. Oh, the Feast of Blessings. Yeah. You eat I a don't know shit ton of food. I don't know why either. We're definitely indoors. Yeah. Sorry. Would you mind telling me a little bit more about it? Yeah. You just eat a lot of food. Food! I don't know, pray a lot, maybe? I don't know. This photo was taken during the Feast of Blessings. I'm gonna look at it again, if that's okay. Right? Yes, it is forbidden to eat during the days of the rite, so the day before it's performed, we enjoy dishes full of uh, ginger? It's like ginger, but... It's not ginger. It's an herb that's known to strengthen the body and mind. Like ginger. Like ginger. But it's not ginger. You loved the ginger-based dishes I made, didn't you, dear? Smooches. Ginger. Ginger. I heard you can go three days without sleeping after eating something. Whoa! No, no, Phoenix, that's meth. <laughs> yes, but many foreigners don't care for it because of its strong smell. Our customs say that these dishes can only be eaten the day before the purification rite, And only between noon and 3 p.m. That sounds like a colonoscopy. It does, doesn't it? Hmm, that's pretty specific. Is it because the smell is too strong? A very good guess indeed. It is to ensure the smell is gone by the time Lady Kira is welcomed the next day. Wow, is it really that strong? Oh yeah. Come to think of it, maybe before the murder, people walk with odors all over town. It's like a cross between garlic and mint. I kind of dig it actually. After the feast of blessings, Bray went over to the plaza to begin his supplication. I never thought that would be the last time I would see him. What 
was my Maya doing at the time? Shortly after Gray left, she went to the temple to prepare for the rite. I, I don't know what she did after that. This okay. lady is sketchy. Something's definitely wrong. So, Alkalite Zillet went out to pray the afternoon before the rite? According to the newspaper. On the day before the rite, the plaza was so cold, the whole place had been ice covered. Oh, that's right. Prey always prayed a lot. <laughs> you might say that it was in his nature. <laughs> Far more than anyone had ever known. He was a devout young man whose faith was tr twice as strong as others. Oh, wow. That's kind of intimidating. Maybe because it's kind of intimidating. Not necessarily like... You know what I mean. Yeah. Thought I'd made some progress by now. I haven't come across any particularly insightful information even here. Mm. You seem disappointed. Ms. Enmi, is there anything else you could tell me? Forgive me, but if I keep thinking about those two any longer. Barbed head. Yes, I understand. Yeah, I get it. I wanted to show her that picture of all of them together, though, and ask her about... Or I wanted to show her the charm. I wanted mm -hmm. to know about the Steel Samurai bracelet! We're gonna drag her ass in court. That's what's mm -hmm. gonna happen. That's the real shit. You can't pull up the court record and present it to her now? No, and if the game is doing this to me, it means she wouldn't have said anything that gotcha. would, that's noteworthy in the first place. It wouldn't do me like that. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry to have troubled you. We have paid a visit to all the people and places connected with this cape. Wow. Really? I think it's about time you prepared yourself for the inevitable. Don't you? No, I can still do stuff. <gasps> okay. okay. If, it, if it made me leave, it would have been like, there would be nothing else you could you want to see a picture of your dead husband? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at it! Yes! That's... Uh, it's a strap that Maya received. You have to know anything about it. It's for the plumed Punisher action hero. Of course she knows, Barbed Head. It's only the most popular show in all of Korea. It would seem that the royal priestess is more familiar with the matter than I. Got him! No! I was simply advocating on behalf of the show's fans. Th they're definitely not me, Baka. Is that all I get? Come on, man. I go and present stuff, more stuff to her? I guess I could do the, the old uh, 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 bullshit strats where I just present everything to her and see if I get anything other than the normal mm. result. Just real quick, because it'll it's giving me the chance to. Nope. Didn't get it. She's giving me so I don't want to miss anything with this bitch because I'm real suspicious of her. Check out this autopsy report. Isn't it dope? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. It actually does something. My husband's... Barbed head. Do you not consider the consequences of your actions? Well, I considered them, but I considered me being alive a little more. Uh... Mm, sorry. That was pretty inconsiderate of me. It was, but you never know. Oh, is that so? You really are a kind soul, dear. My husband says he forgives you. I understand that you're desperate, but do not cause my lovely wife undue pain. 
Do I make myself clear, sir lawyer? Fuck oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We got it. It's fine. But we're definitely <laughs> still gonna do it. Yep, okay. Just, uh, you never know. What if there's something really important in here? True. Just cause unnecessary trauma to this poor lady that lost her husband because I definitely think she's suspicious. But if she's not, I'm gonna feel like an asshole. But whatever. Excuse me. Uh, nope. I'm gonna feel like an asshole. Nope, 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 nope. Did that one and this one. I was so sure that I was gonna get something else. Oh, here we go. Oh, poor Prey. He's joined my husband in the Twilight Realm. He was so full of life before he didn't have life anymore. <laughs> this must be difficult for you. It's like losing a family member. What's that, dear? Yes, you're right. I don't know what would become of me if my husband were not here by my side. Uh, is there anything you can tell me about Alkalite Zealot that might help? He was a kindly young man. Let us... Let us leave it at that. No! Let us not leave it at that. Why can't... so brutal and it not giving you it's so not about giving you shit it's just like mm -hmm, nope Look, check out this weird prayer flag yeah check this out nope. excuse me nope. excuse me Statement, so no. All right, check and see if there's anything else to talk about. Nope. And we've examined everything, so let's see if there's anywhere else we can go. We haven't been back to the inner sanctum or the bazaar. That's true. No. It would. We would have gotten a scene if there was anything new. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not being too presumptuous based on old Days Attorney games, but. Usually when they show up, like, like your assistant standing in front of you, it's like a, there's not anything new here. Maya! Maya! Maya, Maya help! Maya, Maya! Maya, we really need help. Like, please, channel Mia, please. I know please. you don't want to, but, like, please. I know you have issues with that, but... We well, and she's like, I don't want people to know that I can actually channel spirits here. Right, right. Because it's complicated. She's a foreigner. Yeah. That is kind of fucked, though. That, that spirit, like, ch channeling spirits is so common in Crane Village, but here it's like no one can do it but royalty. Like, what an insult. <laughs> I'd be kind of fucked. I'd be I'd be offended too, I guess. And, and you know, if I were insecure in the way that like Rafa clearly is. Mm -hmm. Anyways. I sure was tired. You think? I'm so sorry, Maya. Oh yeah. Be when you were away, Phoenix was beating himself up more too. Like he really thinks this shit is all his fault. Mm. failed to defend you during the trial earlier today. I'm sorry too, Nick. I never meant to get caught up in this whole mess. Even worse, I got you caught up in it too, and you were convicted under the same stupid law. Nick, you should really withdraw from this case. Maybe they'll even commute your sentence if you do. You could never abandon you like that. Yeah, Maya, please, don't. Don't do us like this. We would we would never do you like that. Hey, Smash, what's up? What's up? You might not believe me. I'm going to pull off a win somehow. It's not like I don't believe in you. It's just these people are fucking crazy. They are. Don't worry. Maybe 
maybe this extra day in court is a lesson from the Holy Mother. Let's use it to our advantage. We'll turn this trial inside out and upside down. You'll see. I'll put that thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Mm hmm. Okay. You're awfully quiet, you're getting my voice. It's only a matter of time until your executions are carried out. I simply thought I would allow you to a good talk before you departed from this world. Wow. Sorry, but we're not giving up yet. We won't till the bitter end. There is no need to put on a brave face. Your fates were sealed with today's verdict. Your mom was sealed. Uh, worry not. Oh, worry not, Maya Bay. Twilight Bell will cleanse the taint from the neophyte prosecutor's soul. Practitioner's soul. And it'll cleanse your taint in general. Then perhaps the Holy Mother may finally forgive her. confronting you this whole time. Yes. But this is her weird tsundere way of being like, don't worry, it's cool that you're gonna die, because the Holy Mother will forgive you, so don't be sad. Drunk brain was like, confronting, come on. Because you want to fight her. <laughs> I do want to fight her. Barbed head for the resistance shall come not. Stop your desperate struggle. Accept the judgment that has been passed upon you. I don't wanna. No. She obviously doesn't know me very well, right? Then perhaps your sentence will be. Hold it right there, your benevolence. Why do you always have to be like that? Maya, what are you? What's the matter? I was simply showing some mercy upon your souls. Nick here is risking his life to defend me. No, it won't come to naught, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Nick is just doing what lawyers are supposed to. He's defending his client no matter what. Enough. There is no place for lawyers in this hall of justice. That's what lawyers are for! <laughs> for we have the divi divination seance. But your insights were wrong! Ugh. Ugh. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Cat bite! Don't you get it? Errors are bound to happen if your insights are accepted without question. So I ask you, Royal Priestess, what is your true duty? Do the victim's souls or the Holy Mother herself wish you to judge people in error? You dare bring her holiness's name into this. You know nothing, you... You... Phony baloney! Hey now, that's crossing the line. How dare you. Please, you two, enough already. Sorry, Nick. I got a little carried away. That's not really like me, huh? <laughs> no, I should be thanking you, Maya. It's good to have you in my corner. How dare you mock me so? You'll not get away with this. I will. <laughs> I was a fool to show you compassion, and to think I could convince you to accept your fate. So struggle all you want in the Hall of Justice tomorrow. See if I care. You will receive your just desserts, as the scorn of our kingdom is heaped upon you. I can see straight through that con contorted smile on your face, you know. Like, like it's, I can read you like a book. I can read you like a book. The library is open. Like, 
She may say these terrible things. It's just the way she was raised, I guess. There's no excuse for being a cunt! She'll get over it by the time this game's over. I don't care, I don't forgive her. Yeah, me neither. But it will happen. We're so it's gonna be like one of those things where it's like, oh, you're supposed to feel bad for her, but I don't. Yeah, it's like the cutscenes they added into Yakuza Kiwami, where you're supposed to feel bad for Nishiki. I don't feel bad for Nishiki. Don't feel bad for me, Nishiki, not one bit. Not one bit. Nope. Anyway, anyways, tell me about Zelda's murder. Could you try to remember what happened one more time? I've been trying as hard as I can, but I can't remember anything from the middle of the right onward. Alright, oh, someone felt sleepy. And everything after that's a blank. Even so, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm not the one going around dressed like Lady Kira, trust me. If I had a cosplay that was that rad and I just wore it around all the time and killed people, you would know. Everyone would know. Everyone would know. I would be blogging about it. <laughs> it's kind of cool to think there's a mysterious female vigilante out there. Right. It's definitely the wife. Were you close without the white velvet? Um, we met several times during the meetings about the right, but I didn't know him very well. He seemed really quiet. Oh man, he has that look on his face like he does not actually want to be there at all. Yeah. Or he's constipated, one of the two. <laughs> I recognize that face. Yeah. Didn't you eat together the day before the right? Yeah. We ate this one super stinky dish, but it was actually really good. I wasn't sure I'd like it, but it was love at first bite. Like, you know the salty noodles at Eldoon's Noodles? It's like if you added garlic and herbs to that and then let it simmer for a really long time. Oh, wow. I'd be into it. That sounds delicious. It sounds pretty good. Also, it was met. So, ah, I can't. I'm super way into it. Sounds more like a hot pot than ramen to me at that point. Oh, now I miss ramen too. Uh, so, what was Acolyte Zealot like while you were eating? He seemed to be enjoying the food, but as soon as we were done, he left to go pray. Oh, um, well, I returned to the temple to prepare for the rite. That coincides with Ms. Enemy's description of events. Okay, but after we finish asking you these things, what if we talk to you about that fucking samurai watch that's on in Ms. Enemy's mm -hmm. wrist? Anyways. Any idea who might be pretending to be Lady Kira? When the rite started, it was just me and Abbott in me. But the seance vision showed a third figure who looked like Lady Kira. I know. Hmm. Lady Kira. I wish I could have seen her in the flesh. Yeah. Stay focused on the game, shall we? It was supposed to have been impossible for a third party to enter. Ah, uh, but what if she came from the sky? You know, like that bushy bearded paratrooper? That mountain would have been no match for Lady Kira's wings. That's from the Plumed Punisher TV show, right? How'd you know? Because the real Lady Kira doesn't have wings. Oh, I've got it this time. There must be a secret room with a secret door at this inner sanctum. That's actually not a bad conspiracy theory. Did you know there are 88 secret Plume Punisher bases here in Karain? Can we please stop talking about the Plumed Punisher show for a sec, Maya? Okay, but we're gonna watch it when we get back to your office. Well, yeah. I'm gonna get a box set before we leave and we're gonna binge watch it. Sounds good. I guess so. Keeping it real is as much harder than it looks. That's 
big old dang mood. Mm -hmm. This is a big dang and mood. Well, I should get going now. No, wait! Sorry I wasn't any help. Don't worry. Got this. We'll beat the charges tomorrow and be on the first plane back home before you know it. Yeah, and then we're gonna watch all the plumed Punisher. We can actually get, like, started on the plane, probably. You put it on your laptop. And we'll go grab dinner at El Dunes. On, uh, or your favorite burger joint. You pick. Can we do both? Sounds good. I think I'll get the extra large Hamburg steak topping on my salty bowl. Best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. You can have whatever you like. But first, I have to beat the charges. Uh, I almost forgot. Wh what is it? I have a favor to ask. Uh. Okay, but why are we whispering? Oh, we were whispering? Sorry. I forgot I left something at the high priest's house. It's super important. Would you mind getting and holding on to it for me? <sighs> sure, so what's the super important thing? In my bag, you'll find a folding book. It's only given to the priestess who performs the rite. It's called the Tome of Secrets. Ooh. It does sound important. How could you leave something like that just lying around? Well, I got arrested? <laughs> I don't know if you forgot. That explains all the whispering. If Rafe is found out, all heck will break loose. You can't say that word, Phoenix. All the heck. He said heck. He said the H word. Look, it's got Lady Kira's real name in it, so, um... Oh! Uh, don't tell anyone I told you that! In fact, just forget I said anything at all. It's supposed to be a secret. The Tomb of Secret contains... Secrets? Imagine that. Sarcasm. <laughs> what are you two whispering about? Uh, nothing. Uh, 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 she just forgot something, so I told her I'd go get it. You are up to something. I just know it. Your mom's up to something, probably. Thanks, Nick. I'm counting on you. That's my girl. Saving time. Saving time. We gotta... You don't have to go home, but we really need to get offline because <laughs> we have to sign a lease tomorrow. Now I have to meet with my mom. Yeah. We gotta do that thing where we like sign the lease for our house and start moving. I can't wait. It's very stressful. Uh, yeah, so. I don't have my phone with me, so I'm just gonna let Auto Host take over. Mm -hmm. And we will see you guys tomorrow for probably more of this. And tomorrow, tomorrow might be the last stream we do for a little bit. Either that or Sunday. Because I would like to get in a speed run since I missed last Sunday. I'd like to get in a couple of speed runnies, but we will probably have to take a little break while we do the whole thing where we shut down everything and put it in boxes and move it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for hanging out and have a super cool night. Good night, guys. Bye. Put your faces.